I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm wore out. Let me just say a couple things about Take Back Kentucky. We're not an organization, we're a coalition of organizations. And recently the Tea Party groups have been coming to our meetings and are coming in, and it gives us a chance to all work together against this monster and the big monster in Washington. And that's what it's all about. It's us people fighting back. We've had it. I'm tired of it. They can leave me the hell alone. Yeah. Yeah. I remember in 1993, I was laid up at L Hospital <coughs> in cardiac care. Stupid TV had one channel, and it was mostly government stuff. I stood up there and watched Republican Bob Doe giving my gun rights away, and it made me mad as hell. My gun hasn't killed anywhere near what Ted Kennedy's car did. So why bother my gun? We went to Frankfurt and organized in uh, October of 93. Uh, was going to be a countywide organization, Kentuckians for the Right to Bear Arms, that ended up going statewide. We went to Frankfurt in 94 and we told the people, we want some gun rights back. We're sick of Bill Clinton and that bunch of idiots and Bob Doe consenting to take my gun rights away. They laughed at us. We, we told them we want to conceal carry and they laughed at us and told us his tale about two legislators sitting up here. Ed, I know Ed remembers it. And there's a couple others here that remember the fight we had. And they told us two legislators almost killed each other over a bill back over a hundred years ago and that's when we banned concealed carry. We'll never have that again. Well, I don't care how many of them. I don't care if they all kill each other. It's none of my business, you know. If they want to do that, that's fine. It don't bother me a bit. But I want my rights back. Now, I know a young lady back here talking about she has a son in the military. I had a son in the Marines and one in the Army. I had the son in the Marines got hurt. So I know how you feel. But I'm telling you, we don't want, we want a strong military, but we don't want a military standing on our street corners. No, never. If you like that, go to Mexico. They have it and they carry M16s. Anybody that's been to Mexico, you know what I'm talking about. We don't ever want that. And that leads me to what I want to talk about next. Well, I do want to say we went out and organized 108 counties in two years. Remember that, Ed? We got a group in all them counties. We came back in 96. We told the legislature, now we want our concealed carry. Yes, yes. And they didn't yes. have any choice or they would have been put out of office because we had groups in every county calling them and pestering them every day. And it worked and now we have it. And we're not through. We weren't through then. We've gotten God only knows how many. We can't even count the bills. We've got passed and the bills we've stopped. I remember up here in 2000, Governor Patton about blew a car. He was so mad he couldn't pass a $40 billion, 20-year plan they called Smart Growth. Even brought the governor in from Delaware to try to convince our legislators we got to have it. We got to have it. We got to have it. No. No. We don't have to have it. I don't need you, somebody setting up your three-tier plan in Frankfurt for every inch of Kentucky to be under a state land use plan, sending it down to the area development districts, and then sending that down to the counties and making all of us have plans. We don't need it. And we killed it three times. And then Ed didn't it come back with what he called mini smart growth. Well, I heard that old tale about the camel getting his nose in the tent, so we told him that wasn't going to happen. And it didn't. And that's only one of, God, hundreds of bills. Am I right, Ed? So that leads me to where I'm leading you to. A couple months ago, I was nominated and approved by a Freedom 21 which is a nationwide coalition of organizations and they have great people. Henry Lamb, 
Dr. Michael Kaufman, Wanda Benton, Phyllis Schlafly, listen, a ton of people. And they nominated me and voted me on to be on their board. Well, I told them I don't have any money or anything, like I don't have much time, but I do have a, a few ideas because I was on a credit union board with some of them. They, Friday, yesterday, I was appointed, well, I was voted on and appointed a national director of a plan you're going to love. It is time to get our state's rights back. Yes, sir. It is time to take it back, period. Do you know that Frankfort sends 34 mandates to Ever County? 34 mandates, I kid you not. And they have to pay for most of them. The grants have gone from 80-20, now they're 50-50. I'm also appointed by my county fiscal court on the tourism commission. We have to deal with the budgets and things and grants and things. I know how the government works. I've been working with this bunch of crooks up here for 15, 16, 17 years in a row. I know how it works. So I have been appointed to put a halt to these federal mandates on the states. I've been, a, and the way we plan to achieve this is there's only one way. Everybody here has heard the terms, the Tenth Amendment, no dual way. sovereignty, and everything else. We don't have that. Who are we kidding? If the feds come down and say something, pass a law, we're screwed. You know it. However, they're allowed to do this by the Seventeenth Amendment. The 17th, 17th Amendment needs to be repealed, period. The Founding Fathers were geniuses. They gave the House of Representatives to be the people's house, and that's what it was called. The, uh, the, the Senate was appointed by the legislature, by the Founding Fathers. They set it up that way, knowing we could get to these people we can't go to, I don't even go to Washington no more. It's too corrupt for me. But we have got to repeal the 17th Amendment, bring it back to where the legislature will appoint two senators. They will in turn have recall rights. You don't take upper states' rights. You're coming home and we will replace you. Yeah. That's the only way we're ever going to have states' rights. That's it. You can talk the Tenth Amendment stuff all you want. It ain't going to happen until we take it back. That's it. And we're going to begin a campaign right after the election. We're putting everything together now. Uh, I don't know if uh, they have put anything on the freedom21.org website or not yet, but we're going to bring in all the organizations around the nation we can to have every state house pass a resolution to Congress to repeal the 17th Amendment. And that I am very proud. They, they tell me I, I'm the best organizer. Well, I learned it well. I learned it from the communists. I swear to God I did. When I was working in crime prevention, they sent me at taxpayer's expense to one of their training schools to learn to organize. I didn't know what I was going to do with it until they started taking my guns 20 years later. And then I told a neighbor, you know, when there was four of us sitting around the table, we need to do something. We need to start a group. I said, well, I know how to organize. And I got all the papers out that they, that they gave us. And I showed it to them. They said, we can try. Hey, I didn't know it was going to lead to 18,000 members in Kentuckians for the right to bear arms, chapters in 108 of the 120 counties, and we got our concealed carry. They were tickled to death to give it to us. Yeah. Now we're, and I've been all over America. I like to froze to death in Montana one December, and then they had the gall to call me to come back up there to talk at a conference and teach them organization. Uh, two Decembers later and said, but this time we won't have to stay in the hotel all the time. We're going to take you skiing. Let me tell you something. I'll stick to July wet. I don't need to be up there in December 
30 below zero, 40 mile an hour winds, frozen water. I like the wet kind. But we're going to take this around the nation. We're going to need everybody's help. Go to your takebackkentucky.com webpage. Keep up with it. We don't have anything on it yet, but we will. We're in the organization, structure setup of this. But we plan to repeal the 17th Amendment, and it's not an overnight thing. We need every organization. We need every Tea Party. We need every 912 group. We need every group we can get to work together with us, and we're going to get rid of that monster. That's the only way we'll get our rights back. I thank you.